And we welcome you once again to Littleton Gymnasium. As we get ready to begin this one, the Lee Volunteers are the designated visitors to this contest. So Eric Price, the public address here, will introduce them first. Peoples averages 14 points a ball game. One of four seniors in the starting lineup. Solomon averages nine points a ball game. Nakodio was our John Wayne player of the game on Wednesday for his fine performance. Liam Rangel averages eight points a contest. Gibson also averages eight points a ball game for the Volunteers. Ryan Taplin, fourth year as the head coach of the Lee Volunteers, and he actually has the seniority of the coaches who are working today. Ian Cooper averages 16.3 points a ball game. He had 16 points in the fourth quarter alone in the win against Johnson on Wednesday. And there's Evan Moreno. He averages 14 a ball game. Second Real Williams averages 4.3 a contest. Dylan Stanton football for UTEP next year. Davion Huff averages 5.3 a ball game. Only one underclassman is starting in this ball game. That would be Gibson for Lee. Thank you, Eric. And now Bobby Steinsenberger is eating his heart out because the Rolling Stones are playing on the speakers. And I think Podia will jump for the Volunteers, Dalen Stanton will jump for the Mavericks. Season on the line. The games you'd love to see. Tip is controlled by the Mavericks here underway as Moreno gives to Williams. And now Cooper with Dak Podia guarding, no surprise there. Moreno to Cooper. To the corner for Moreno, Gibson guarding. Now back to Cooper. Huff, Williams, Cooper. Screen from Stanton, the defense rotates. Give to Stanton. Stanton fights his way to the hoop, misses the shot, and it's recovered by the Volunteers. Ozzy Salman will run the point. Gives to Dak Podia. Peoples. Loses it out of bounds as he can't get it to Gibson. Another turnover. Madison gets it back. Marino lobs it to Huff. He drives. Defense is there. Dish out to Cooper. Back to Huff. And Cooper. Nakodia guarding him. Huff in the corner. To Williams. Dribble drive is on for the Mavericks. Moreno. Shoots from the free throw line around Gibson. Stand with a rebound, gives to Huff. Huff will try a three. Rebound, Solman. Sent ahead to Peoples. Back to Solman. Nakpodia with Huff guarding. Nakpodia drives, dish back to Rangel. Corner for a driving and missing Solman. Long rebound, run bound by Stanton. Gives to Huff. Still scoreless a minute and a half in. Cooper spins his way to the hoop and misses. But Williams gets the rebound. Moreno will try a three. That's no good. And finally the rebound is controlled by Rangel. Still scoreless two minutes in. Solman to Peoples. All the way to the hoop. And Lee is on the board with the first points of the contest. Zero, 
Reno sends to Huff. He'll try a three from the opposite corner. This one is good. And Madison takes the lead with their first basket of the day. Nakpodia gives to Peoples. Three-pointer is good for Rangel. And Lee is back in the lead. 5-3 Volunteers. Looks like the offenses have settled in. Cooper gives to Williams. Williams now starts a dribble. Moreno to Huff. Huff drives. And they call a tied ball with a possession arrow pointing to Lee. And this, of course, is the low point of any broadcast of an amateur basketball game when we're forced to use the term possession arrow. So you see Peoples ties up Huff on his drive to the hoop. Lee with a 5-3 lead on the ball. Salman to Rangel to Gibson for a three. Good. Trevor Gibson, leading three-point shooter for the Volunteers, gives them an 8-3 lead. Cooper with Nakodia ready to guard. Defense rotates. Give and go. The pick and roll works for Stanton, and he draws a foul as well. Solomon is whistled for his first. And it remains 8 to 3. Nag Podia. And they're going to get Huff for pushing Solomon away from the basketball. That'll be the first team foul on the Mavericks today. Julian Dupertui checks into the contest for the Volunteers, number 10. Nakpodia drives, loses control of the ball, gives to Dupertui, fights his way to the roof, and draws contact. Dupertui will head to the strike. And that's the second foul on Huff. I've caught a little bit flat-footed there. He commits fouls nine seconds apart. Between unable to capitalize yet. Substitution necessary, so Joe Anthony Ramirez will enter the contest. Number 15 for the Mavericks. Duper Futui's second field. Free throw attempt is good. His first point. Nine to five lead. What a way to make a living. Williams with the basketball for the Mavericks. Give to Ramirez. Ramirez drives. High off the glass. Ramirez sinks it. 9-7. Lee's lead goes to two. Peoples with the basketball. Gets to Duper Tweed. The corner for Nakpodia. He drives, finds a lane, fights his way through defense, and he's headed to the line. The defense closed on him pretty quick, but a little too closely. They whistle Duncan Williams for his first. Nakpodia was very clutch at the line on Wednesday, seven of eight. If you're looking for a jinx, well, the one he missed was early among his attempts. Nakpodia hit two tying free throws in overtime. And he has his first point. Three point lead for Lee. Williams with the basketball for Madison. Is there a screen from Stanton? Cooper, Ramirez, Moreno, tip, but Stanton gets it, tries to back down Duper Tree, and he does bank it in. Four for Stanton leading the Mavericks. One point. Volunteer lead. Duper Tree. Peoples. Dribbles just once, gives to Nakpodia, then Rangel. Duper Tweed. Can't get around Stanton, so he'll get to Peoples instead. He drives. Gives to Gibson, and now Peoples, as Lee is showing patience on offense. Gives to Duper Tweed. 
Cooper Twee is a senior as well, one of five in the starting in the six-man rotation that Lee likes to play. Nakpodia loses the ball to Cooper Twee, recovers, gives to Gibson, open for a three, good. Nearly a great stop for Madison, but Lee makes the best of it, and they now lead by four. Cooper to Ramirez. Dish back to Moreno, to Cooper, open for a three, good. Aiden Cooper has his first point, one point volunteer lead. Cooper Tweed, Sam Ray to guard. Give to Gibson, Gibson reverses direction and draws another foul. Actually, you can see Cole Martinez, head coach of the Madison Mavericks, signaling some frustration at the calls, but Lee is aggressive to the basket. Ramirez is now whistled for his first. And Gibson has the fifth free throw attempt of the first quarter for the Volunteers. Peoples checks out, and now Tremaine Watson, another senior, enters the ball game for the Volunteers. Gibson makes both. He has eight. Moreno misses. Stanton pulls down the rebound. Misses the putback, though. Long rebound for Cooper. He'll try a three. And then Watson pulls down the board. 15-12 volunteers with the basketball. Nakpodia to Dupertree. Dupertree drives into a double team. Has to dish back to Nakpodia. And on the give and go, gives it to Dupertree. The defense converges and falling to the floor. Aguilar recovers it, and Madison uses a 30 second timeout so that they can keep the basketball with 141 remaining in the first quarter. And so now, once again, it is time to ask that fateful, important question Is inflation hitting your home budget? Before you think about it too much, go ahead and come out to Mission Open Air Market to find the biggest bargains in Texas on household items, tools, clothes, collectibles, and more. They even have a farmer's market full of the best bargains in Texas. Beat inflation every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday starting at 6 a.m. at the corner of Morrison Boulevard and Loop 410 South. We'll see you there. Mavericks with the ball trailing. 15 to 12. And Cooper gives to Moreno, gets it back. Screen from Ramirez. Cooper gives to Ramirez. He'll try a three. Rebound still loose, and it's taken by Watson, and he's fouled by Ramirez. That'll be his second foul. Check that Moreno with the foul, which will be his first. It's bonus time. So that will send Watson to the line. Watson... One of seven participants in Wednesday's game for Lee did not score a point. That was his first shot attempt of any kind, I believe, this week. Still one more chance to put his team in front by two possessions. He does. 16-12 volunteers. Caden Cooper threw it behind Nathan Aguilar, turning it over. Lee basketball with 116 left in the first. Jordan Clay, crossover from the football team, basketball player, wears number 10 on the hardwood. He's entered the game for Madison. Cooper Tweed, number 10 for Lee, will pass to Gibson, to Watson. Back to Nakpodia, and Nakpodia got bumped by Cooper. 
No, they call Nakpodia for the offensive foul. No, that was away from the ball. It wasn't Nakpodia, it was Watson with the moving screen. Fifty-nine seconds left in the quarter. Madison basketball trying to pull back within one possession. Cooper to Moreno. Ramirez, Aguilar tries to drive on Watson. Dish out to Moreno. Moreno draws a double team. In trouble. Cooper Tweed knocks it away. And now Salman has it with 28 seconds left in the quarter. Lee could play for the last shot. Madison does have the possession arrow. Salman guarded by Aguilar to keep him honest. Lee will, in fact, play for the last shot. Aguilar not quite close enough to force the five-second count to start. Gibson will try a three. Good. With three seconds left. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Gibson with 11 for the Volunteers. They lead 19-12 over Madison. You're watching High School Basketball presented by John Way Service Company on big game coverage. The savings keep adding up for Fred Loya customers in Texas. In recent months, people who switched from Geico, Allstate, and Progressive to Fred Loya Insurance saved over $1,700 a year. State Farm customers saved over $1,300 a year. Include the savings of Fred Loya customers from multiple states, and that's a combined savings of over $1.1 million a year. Start paying less for your car insurance. Call or visit FredLoya.com. If you don't call, you don't save. Hey, South Texas, it's Sean Elliott. Did you know that Methodist Healthcare provides more world-class cancer care than any other healthcare system in the region? By partnering with your preferred provider, Methodist Healthcare will help you get the cancer care you or your loved ones need right here at home. Keep your care and the ones you love close when you need it most. Expertise matters and Methodist Healthcare is here for you. Trevor Gibson, leading three-point shooter for the Lee Volunteers, has 11 points on three trays and two of two from the free throw line. And the Volunteers lead 19-12 over the Madison Mavericks. Madison will have the ball to start the second. Cooper accepts the inbound. Gives to Moreno. Now Cooper has it. Nakpodia guarding. Now it's past to Ramirez, bluffs a three, gets back to Cooper. Cooper drives, stumbles, shoots, misses. Lost out of bounds off of Clay. And it will be volunteer basketball. Lee, no crossovers from the football team. Madison has a couple with Seaton and Clay. Clay a sophomore, by the way. Salmon to Rangel. Back to Salmon, he drives. No look pass back to Rangel. Now Gibson, now Rangel. Salmon in the corner. Aguilar guarding. Back to Nakpodia. And now Salmon once again. Salmon drives, loses the ball out of bounds. Out off the Mavericks. I believe out off of play. Salmon will inbound. Rangel, Gibson. Now Aguilar's guarding him, so Gibson will drive. Fall away in the lane. No good. Rebound Moreno. Still 19-12, one minute into the second quarter. No points in the second just yet. Aguilar to Ramirez. Moreno. Moreno gets the screen from Cooper. Thinks about a three, gives to Clay instead. Clay drives and gets a basket. 19-15, Lee's lead at four. Rangel gives to Solomon. Gibson, Super Tweet. Super Tweet drives. Sends the corner for Rangel. Aguilar goes to guard, so Rangel will dribble. Gives to Nakpodia. Nakpodia driving. And he gets the bank shot. Nakpodia has three. 21-15 volunteers. 
The winner goes to the playoffs. The losers' season is over. Ramirez, corner of the lane, rattles out and Akpodia with the board. Gives to Duper Tweed. So Duper Tweed will take it to the front court. He'll take it into the lane. Out to Rangel. Now Nakpodia for a three. No good. Long rebound. Duper Tweed. To the opposite corner for Rangel. And now Salmon will drive. She's on the side of the lane and gets it to go. Salmon has his first basket. Eight point lead. Nine point lead for the Mavericks. Moreno driving, trying to get around Gibson. Fall away short. Rebound lost out of bounds. They call it out off Rangel. The Lee faithful called into question the accuracy of that assessment. Their viewpoint is understandable. Madison will retain the ball. Cooper bounces it in, and this time it is off of Huff. So Lee gets it back right away as Salman disrupted that. Watson in the ball game will inbound to Salman. 23-14. Lee with a nine-point lead. Peoples back in the contest. Wants to drive, gives to Salman. He'll try a three. Good. Ozzie Salman has five. 12-point Lee lead. And the Madison Mavericks. Take a full timeout. Back in 60 seconds, you're watching High School Basketball presented by John Wayne Service Company on big game coverage. Have you been looking for a computer and electronics store that's right for you? Altex Computers and Electronics has been serving businesses and consumers for over 30 years. Altex has aisles and aisles of computer systems, laptops, network accessories, surveillance equipment, and thousands of cables and connectors. From computer upgrades and repair to complete system and network design and installation, Altex gives great customer service before and after. Altex Computers and Electronics, your total technology store. Okay. Texas and ALTEX.com. I'm Oscar Cardenas. In football, we fight hard to make it happen. That's what makes us winners. 18 Wheeler, or company vehicle wreck injury put you on the sidelines? Get a winner to fight for you. A lawyer with grit and determination who will not stop until you get justice and all the money you deserve. And that's Wainwright Injury Lawyers. So don't wait, call eight. Call Wainwright Injury Lawyers. 888-8888 now. Wanna win? You know who to call. That's right, Wainwright. Respect. Justice demanded. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. Lee 26, Madison 14. Volunteers on a 13 to 2 run. Cooper with the basketball to Huff. Huff bounces it into Moreno. Moreno can't lay it in, but he did draw the foul. And they whistle Logan Peoples for his first. Salman, pardon me, whistled for the foul. And that's his second. Moreno, a 79% free throw shooter. Converts both. Breaking up the run, it is now a 10 point volunteer lead. Salmon with two fouls will remain in the ball game. Salmon has two fouls, Watson has one. That's it for fouls on lead. Watson, Moreno guarding, gives to Peoples. Signals Nakpodia. Nakpodia offers the screen. Peoples goes to the block and gets the basket. Four for Logan Peoples. Back to a 12 point volunteer lead. Moreno bluffed a three, but then there was Salmon. Huff is back to Cooper. Elijah Pierre into the ball game. He tries a three, no good. Rebound on the floor, Nakpodia comes up with it, and Lee calls a timeout to make sure they don't turn it over on a traveling violation. That'll be a 30-second timeout. You're watching High School Basketball presented by John Wayne Service Company on Big Game Coverage.
Welcome back to Littleton Gymnasium. The Madison Mavericks are trying to earn their first playoff berth under Cole Martinez, their first playoff berth since 2019. The Lee Volunteers went from 1993 to 2021 with only one playoff berth. That was Paul Garnica's junior year. They're now trying to earn their second playoff berth in three years under Coach Ryan Taplin. Watson from the corner for a three. Long rebound for Moreno, trying to run the break. Doesn't have numbers. He'll dish back to Huff, inside to Stanton back in the contest. Stanton forces up the shot, and he'll head to the free throw line. Stanton has that defensive lineman's body that he uses. Stanton averages 7.8 points, 8.2 rebounds, a 51% free throw shooter. Makes the first here. He's now one of two from the stripe. The foul was against Rangel, his first. Rebound, Peoples. 11 point ball game. Give to Nack Podia. Out to Peoples. He looked like he was thinking about a three, but that would have been a very long shot, so I suspect he was not. Rangel drives, fall away in the lane is no good. Long rebound, finally pulled down by Peoples. Sends it to Rangel, and Rangel is fouled by Cooper. I don't think they can pretend that was in the act of shooting, they don't. First foul on Cooper, 3.02 left in the half. Salman accepts the inbound in backcourt. Cooper ready to guard. Rangel trying to get around Stanton, or at least back him down. Does a little bit of that. Now Peoples gives to Nakpodia. Nakpodia, Rangel, Nakpodia. Back out to Rangel for an NBA three. Cooper with the board for the Mavericks. 233 left in the half, 11 point lead lead, Madison basketball. Huff, the inside to Stanton. Stanton had the mismatch with Watson and has a chance at a three point play. The foul on Watson is his second. Two fouls for Watson, two fouls for Salmon. And Stanton makes the free throw. He now has six for the ball game. Eight point volunteer lead. Nack Podia to Salmon. Peoples. Gibson back in the contest. Now Nack Podia. Rangel. Screen from Nack Podia. Peoples. Looks for Salmon. Will keep it himself. Drives to the block. Needs to do something and does give to Rangel. Lee may take their time on this possession. It'd be hard to play all the way for the last shot. Lee does have the possession arrow. Lee has a shorter rotation than Madison by a little bit. Madison's played nine players today. Lee seven. Gibson. Rangel. Peoples for three, good. Logan Peoples has seven. 11 point volunteer lead. Cooper with the basketball. Gives to Williams, back to Cooper. Two for three points for the contest. Out to Williams, loves a three, gives to Cooper. He will really try a three. And it'll be a team rebound for Lee. 106 left in the first half. Salmon will use the 10 seconds in the backcourt. There's Cooper to guard. Salmon can't quite shake him. Does give to Rangel. Loaded to Gibson, who does come up with it. Gibson. 
Gibson with 39 left, Gibson to Akpodia. Huff will rotate to him, and then Gibson gets it back. Now to Peoples. Now it looks like Lee's playing for the last shot, having taken over the ball with a minute left in the half. Solman. Bounce to Nakpodia. Huff guarding. Madison does have fouls to give if they care to. Nakpodia. Down to 11. Nakpodia driving. Cooper with a steal. Cooper with time running out in the half. Basket in the foul with 2.5. Turnover. Turnover. Lee ball with 2.5 left in the quarter. Inbound goes to Peoples, and he does try from half court, doesn't get it to go. Cooper looks like he had a fantastic opportunity, but he turns it over, and at intermission, your score is Lee 31 in Madison 20. Stay tuned for the Fred Loy Insurance Halftime Show after these messages. You're watching High School Basketball presented by John Wayne Service Company on big game coverage quality. Here at John Wayne, it's not just a word, it's our foundation. From the people we employ, to the service that's provided, to the equipment that we design and install, quality matters. For nearly 20 years, providing quality Texas comfort to the San Antonio area community has been our highest priority. Buy a new heating and cooling system today, get it installed today, and make no payments today. Plus, for the next 25 callers, I'll take $1,000 off. Call John Wayne today. The savings keep adding up for Fred Loya customers in Texas. In recent months, people who switched from Geico, Allstate, and Progressive to Fred Loya Insurance saved over $1,700 a year. State Farm customers saved over $1,300 a year. Include the savings of Fred Loya customers from multiple states, and that's a combined savings of over $1.1 million a year. Start paying less for your car insurance. Call or visit FredLoya.com. If you don't call, you don't save. I'm Oscar Cardenas. In football, we fight hard to make it happen. That's what makes us winners. 18-wheeler or company vehicle wreck injury put you on the sidelines? Get a winner to fight for you. A lawyer with grit and determination who will not stop until you get justice and all the money you deserve. And that's Wainwright Injury Lawyers. So don't wait. Call 8. Call Wainwright Injury Lawyers. 888-8888 now. Want to win? You know who to call. That's right. Wainwright. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. Have you been looking for a computer and electronics store that's right for you? Altex Computers and Electronics has been serving businesses and consumers for over 30 years. Altex has aisles and aisles of computer systems, laptops, network accessories, surveillance equipment, and thousands of cables and connectors. From computer upgrades and repair to complete system and network design and installation, Altex gives great customer service before and after the sale. Altex Computers and Electronics, your total technology store. Locations throughout Texas and ALTEX. Com. Don't want that old car but don't know what to do? Call Pick and Pull and turn that old car into cash. We buy more because we pay more, running or not, and we'll pick it up free. Pick and Pull has the largest inventory in South Texas with over 4,500 parts cars, so we need to buy. Go to PickandPullSA.com for more details. Pick and Pull, we buy more because we pay more. More to pick, less pull from your budget, now that's Pick and Pull. The Lind Company of San Antonio is about creating an amazing living experience for their residents. An experience that isn't perfectly described with words, but is felt the minute you walk through their doors. They strive to maintain an environment where memories are built and life happens. Their team applies advanced education and real-world experience to provide excellent real estate services in acquisitions, asset management, development, and investment. Learn more at lynd.com. Lind, your home, our passion. For all your business and personal banking needs, Church Bank & Trust is your community bank of choice to fit your needs and lifestyle. All the modern conveniences of big national banks, but with friendly, personalized service. At Church Bank & Trust, you are not just a number, but a valued customer that will be treated with respect. Learn the variety of loan and deposit account options online at ShirtsBank.com. Church Bank & Trust, strong and stable since 1913.
Welcome back. I'm Mark Kusenberger. Thanking you very much for joining us. Alicia Myers and Michael Starro are the directors. Ava Aguilar and Angel Avilas are the camera crew. 31-20 is the score at the half. There are the Churchill Chargers. And as the camera fans, you'll see the Johnson Jaguars. They will play for the other remaining playoff berth in District 26-5A. 28-6A, pardon me. Flash back a little bit. We will have Churchill and Johnson to follow this one on Texas Sports Production. Let's go over the scoring for this one. For the Lee Volunteers, Logan Peoples has seven points, including a first, a second quarter three. Isaac Solomon has five points, including a second quarter three. Adafi Nakpodio has three points. He's one of two from the free throw line. Liam Rangel has three points on a first quarter three. Trevor Gibson leads all scores with 11. He's two of two from the line and has a trio of three pointers. All his scoring in the first quarter. Julian Dupertui has one point, one of two from the free throw line. Jermaine Watson has one point, one of two from the free throw line. For the Madison Mavericks, they have three points from Caden Cooper on a first quarter three. Evan Moreno has two points. He's two of two from the free throw line. Jordan Clay has two points. John Anthony Ramirez has two points. Colin Stanton leads the Mavericks with six points. He's two of four from the free throw line. Davion Huff has three points on her first quarter three. Also participating for the Mavericks, Duncan Williams, Elijah Pierre, and Nathan Aguilar. We will determine the final two playoff berths in 28-6A. And then after those games, the winners will work out who's the third seed and who's the fourth seed. A coin flip is the most likely method of doing that, but about anything truly random is accepted as a means of deciding who's third and who's fourth place. The third place team will play the Clemens Buffaloes in the first round, and the fourth place team will play the New Braunfels Unicorns in the first round. Well, that'll do it for us for the North for the Fred Lloyd Insurance Halftime Show. We thank you very much for joining us and invite you to continue watching for the second half of this contest. You're watching High School Basketball presented by John Wayne Service Company on Big Game Coverage. Don't want that old car but don't know what to do? Call Pick and Pull and turn that old car into cash. We buy more because we pay more, running or not, and we'll pick it up free. Pick and Pull has the largest inventory in South Texas with over 4,500 parts cars, so we need to buy. Go to PickandPullSA.com for more details. Pick and Pull. We buy more because we pay more. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. The Linda Company of San Antonio is about creating an amazing living experience for their residents. An experience that isn't perfectly described with words, but is felt the minute you walk through their doors. They strive to maintain an environment where memories are built and life happens. Their team applies advanced education and real-world experience to provide excellent real estate services in acquisitions, asset management, development, and investment. Learn more at lynd.com. Lind, your home, our passion. For all your business and personal banking needs, Church Bank & Trust is your community bank of choice to fit your needs and lifestyle. All the modern conveniences of big national banks, but with friendly, personalized service. At Church Bank & Trust, you are not just a number, but a valued customer that will be treated with respect. Learn the variety of loan and deposit account options online at churchbank.com. Church Bank & Trust, strong and stable since 1913. Quality. Here at John Wayne, it's not just a word, it's our foundation. From the people we employ, to the service that's provided, to the equipment that we design and install, quality matters. For nearly 20 years, providing quality Texas comfort to the San Antonio area communities has been our highest priority. Buy a new heating and cooling system today, get it installed today, and make no payments today. Plus, for the next 25 callers, I'll take $1,000 off. Call John Wayne today. Eric Price with a reminder, we thank him once again. Public address here at Northeast ISD. As we get ready for the second half, Lee leading 31-20 over the Madison Mavericks. The outscored Madison 19-12 in the first quarter, outscored them 12-8 in the second quarter. Ah. 
Mavericks have been very pesky on defense. Limiting scoring opportunities for Madison. And we'll have the ball to start the second half. Trevor Gibson to Solomon. Solomon taking his time. Finds Gibson. He'll drive. Dish out to Solomon who bluffs a three. Didn't want to shoot it over Stanton. Neither opportunity he took. Now Solomon will drive. Since the Nakpodia, he'll try for a three from the corner. It's good. Adafi Nakpodia has six now. And the lead lead is up to two touchdowns. 34-20. Cooper draws a double team. Gives to Stanton. Williams. Back to Cooper. Cooper again draws a double team. Williams. Moreno from the corner for three. No good in the rebound, Nakpodia. Lee has made a conscious effort to take away Cooper over the last quarter or so. Gibson for a three. Long, but the rebound taken by Peoples. Can't get the putback over Cooper, but gets the rebound out to Solomon. Solomon drives, bounce pass to Peoples. Peoples loses it in the lane. Still loose. Solomon comes up with it. Gives to Rangel, and now out to Peoples, and Lee can reboot the possession. Gibson to Solomon. Lee has shown a lot of scrappiness this week, trying to stay in the playoff hunt. Solomon drives, shoots over Stanton, and scores. Nine for Logan Peoples. Solomon, pardon me. Sixteen point lead for the Volunteers. Cooper to Williams. He'll try a three. Rebound Nakpodia. He'll take it to the front court. Now Peoples. Solomon. Solomon and Peoples each with seven points for the Volunteers. It's back to Gibson. Moreno ready to guard him because Gibson's known to be a sharpshooter from outside. Ron Gale. Peoples, he'll try a wide open three. Cooper with the rebound for the Mavericks. Gives to Moreno. Lob to Stanton, but over his head. Turning it back over to Lee. Stanton was open, but Moreno couldn't make the connection. Gibson. Gives to Solomon. Ron Gale. Huff stepping up to guard. Solomon again. Solomon drives. Stops and restarts. And somehow floats it in. Solomon has nine. Including four straight. 18 point volunteer lead. On a 10-0 run right now. Cooper. Williams, Huff, Moreno. Back to Huff, Moreno, inside to Stanton. Stanton floats it in, 10 for Dalen Stanton. Stanton not quite ready to give up basketball. He'll play football at UTEP next year. Nack Podia to Peoples, Stanton guarding. Peoples, dish back to Rungel. No fouls yet committed in the third quarter. We're almost halfway through it. Four field goals. Three by Lee, one by Madison. And Lee leads by 16. Solomon. Lee can play ball control now with this hefty lead. Stanton will force. Now Rangel tries a three and it's good. Six for Rangel. 19 point volunteer lead. Cooper loses it out of bounds. It's off Nack Podia. So it will be Lee basketball. Madison will take a full timeout with 343 remaining in the third quarter. So. 
We ask once again, is inflation hitting your home budget? Well, you don't have to think a lot about this. Come out to the Mission Open Air Market. Find the biggest bargains in Texas on household items, tools, clothes, and collectibles, and more. They have a farmer's market full of the best bargains in Texas as well. Beat inflation every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday starting at 6 a.m. on the corner of Morrison Boulevard and Loop 410 South. We'll see you there. The Lee Volunteers are trying to earn their second playoff berth in three years. They do have illustrious history. They were state semifinalists in 1964. Two players on that team were Linus Bear, yes, the famed running back, who was part of the team that defeated Brackenridge famously 55-48. One of his teammates was Dan Sponholtz, who went on to become the boys' basketball coach at MacArthur in the 80s. Three years later in 67, the Volunteers won state under head coach Jimmy Littleton, that team led by Steve Niles, 6'10 post player. Madison down to a full timeout in the 30. Lee has three fulls in the 30. Moreno accepts the inbound. Ramirez, Huff, back to Ramirez. To Clay, Ramirez will try a three. Good. John Anthony Ramirez has five. Madison looking for a spark. Duper Twee back in the ball game. Salmon thought about a three. He may have decided let's run some more clock before we shoot. Sends it inside to Duper Twee who fakes out Clay and banks it in. Duper Twee with his first field goal. 18 point. Volunteer lead. Moreno to Huff. Back to Moreno. Out to Cooper. Cooper thought about a three. I think it's a little beyond even his range. He gives to Ramirez. He'll try another three, and this one's good. Eight for John Anthony Ramirez. He averages 3.4 a ball game. He has six in this quarter. Steal by Cooper, and he lays it in. Five for Cooper. Madison within 13. Now they press. Nakodia. Gives to Solomon. Solomon at the free throw line, dish back to Peoples. We're at the point of a quarter where Lee isn't afraid to spend a minute at a time with the basketball, but Nakpody will try an open three. That rattles out. Cooper Twee with the rebound, sends it back out to Solomon. And Lee can start over for the possession. Peoples trying to drive on Ramirez, sends it inside, and they will call a push on John Anthony Ramirez, which will be his second foul. That's the first foul by either team this quarter, with 153 left, so plenty of fouls to give for either side. Nakpodia out to Peoples. Peoples a lane to the hoop, and he lays it in. Nine for Logan Peoples. 15 point Lee lead, lead. 136 left in the quarter. Air ball on Huff. Caught on the fly by Rangel. Salmon to the front court. We'll see how Lee plays ball control here. Salmon. Taking his time. He's had the ball for about 20 seconds just by himself. Now he gives to Peoples. Peoples guarded by Ramirez. Ramirez is going to force Peoples to do something with the ball. Now Solomon fakes defenders, splits them, bounce pass to Nakpodia, who lays it in. Eight for Nakpodia. 17 point. Lee volunteer lead. Cooper tries a three. Good. Cooper has eight, five in the quarter. Madison within 14. They press with 26 seconds left in the quarter. 
And I think they got Cooper for a foul. That'll be his second. Twenty-five point four seconds left in the quarter. Elijah Pierre will check into the contest for Madison. Starters Moreno and Cooper will get a rest for the last 25. Rangel to Nakpodia to Peoples. 17 left. Solomon guarded by Williams. Down to eight. Solomon will drive. Gives to Nakpodia. Out to Rangel for a three, short. May have been deflected by Clay. That is the end of the third quarter with Lee beating Madison by a score of 47 to 33. Stay tuned for the fourth quarter. You're watching High School Basketball presented by John Wayne Service Company on Big Game Coverage. Welcome back to Wilson Gymnasium. I'm Mark Kusenberger. Alicia Myers and Mike Starr are the directors. Eva Aguilar and Angel Avilas are the camera crew. Madison basketball with a long way to go and a short time to get there, trailing by 14 against the Lee Volunteers, trying to earn their second playoff berth in three years. Madison trying to break up a playoff drought that goes back to 2019. Cooper with the basketball. Bounces it to Ramirez. Back to Cooper. Ramirez, he'll try a three. And he got bumped well after the shot, but the continuation means three free throws are coming up for Ramirez. I think they got Rangel. That'll be his second foul. His second. Solomon and Watson each have two for Lee. Ramirez was fouled on a three-pointer on Wednesday and made all three of the attempts. He's made one so far. And now two. Seventy-seven percent free throw shooter converts two of three here. Presses on by Madison. Huff deflects the ball out of bounds, so Lee will inbound once again. Nate Aguilar checks into the contest, replacing Jordan Clay. Inbound to Peoples. Peoples. Gives it to Salman, who takes it to the front court. Now to Duper Tweed. He draws a double team. Finds Peoples. Peoples in the lane. Draws the foul. Evan Marino is whistled for his second. Peoples averages 14 points a ball game. He is now one of one from the line. 10 points in this contest. And Peoples has a chance to extend this to a two touchdown lead. 
Rebound by Moreno as Moreno's a 13 point ball game. Cooper, guarded by Rangel. Puts up a floater, it misses, rebound off a of bounce. Well, there's contact between Nakpodia and Stanton. But the whistle is simply out of bounds. Off the Volunteers. I think that podium may have been standing on the baseline when he touched the basketball. Inbound goes to Huff. Plus the three gets back to Cooper. He'll try a three. Short. Rebound Rangel. He's double teamed. Needs help. Forces it to Peoples. Moreno is there. He gets it to Duper Twee. Now to Rangel. And two. The ball goes all the way to that podium for the dunk. 10 for Nakpodia. 15 point volunteer lead. Madison tried the press, it nearly worked. Huff will try a three. Long rebound for Peoples. Huff tried to wrestle the ball and ended up, I believe, yes, wrestling the opponent. Third foul on Davion Huff. Two timeouts remaining for Madison as they try to close this gap. Lee has four remaining. Rangel, knee got bumped. They call John Anthony Ramirez for his third. Three team fouls on Madison, just one on Lee in this fourth quarter. Peoples with the basketball. Trying to get around Huff, has to switch direction to do it, but succeeds. Solman continues, hooks it out to Rangel. Now to Duper Twee. Duper Twee double team, gives to Nakpodia. Back to Duper Twee. He drives, gives to Peoples. Peoples sends it out to Solman. Lee playing ball control once again. This possession is used 30 seconds. Duper Twee to Rangel. Thought about a very wide open three, but he decides to keep the possession going. 45 seconds on this possession. As you may well know, no shot clock in high school basketball in Texas. Solomon, guarded by Ramirez, drives, gives to Rangel, draws a double team to Duper Twee, to Solomon, who gives it to Duper Twee, who banks it in. A minute and 10 seconds on that possession, and Lee gets the basket to go up 17. Aguilar to Cooper. Now it's to Ramirez. He gets to Moreno. Moreno and Cooper are the top three point shooters for Madison. They're probably going to need some of that very quickly. Under five minutes remaining. Cooper from the side of the lane draws a foul. Nakpodia is performing a reenactment, trying to suggest he did not, in fact, invent an infraction, but they rule yes, he did. First foul on Nakpodia. And Cooper, a 65% free throw shooter, misses the first. He has eight points. The average is 16.3 a ball game. Had a fantastic fourth quarter against Johnson in that comeback victory for the Mavericks that kept their season alive at least one more game. Cooper makes the second. Jordan Clay checks in. Press is on again. Peoples takes it to the front court. And now Lee can go back to a four corners or a variation thereof. 16 point volunteer lead. Salman to Peoples out to Rangel. Earlier Rangel might have taken that shot, but Lee had a one minute, 10 second possession last time they had the ball and got a basket from Cooper Tweet. Peoples banks it in. 12 for Logan Peoples. 
18 point volunteer lead with four minutes left. Cooper misses, Nakpodia with the board. Coleman, head coach for Madison, that's Cole Martinez, was an assistant under Ryan Taplin at Lee before getting the Madison head coaching job. In fact, Taplin has said on Twitter that I'll be rooting for you 363 days a year, which may not have accounted for the tiebreaker game, but that's worked out by the fact that it's a leap year. Lee calls a timeout with 345 remaining, leading 54 to 36. You're watching high school basketball presented by John Wayne Service Company on big game coverage. Welcome back to Littleton Gymnasium. I'm not sure they could fit an arena football game in here with the San Antonio Gunslingers, but they'd probably be willing to try if it came to it. Freeman Coliseum is working out very well for the Gunslingers. And football and roller skates. So check that out later. In the meantime, check out the rest of this game. Duper Twee gives to Solomon. Duper Twee draws a double team to Rangel. Madison. Trying to close the gap, and Cooper will commit his third foul. That was one of the, the last foul to give. So now Madison will be sending Lee to the free throw line. And I'm sure Cole Martinez was hoping it would not come to that. Rangel gives to Peoples. To Solomon. Two for three. Peoples. Nakpodia. 3.15 remaining. Another one minute possession for the Volunteers. Super Twee. Peoples. To Nakpodia. Super Twee. No shot clock, so Lee's saying, well, we'll keep passing all we want, and it's up to Madison to foul as Davion Huff just committed his fourth. And I made the point that Cole Martinez, head coach of the Madison Mavericks, probably didn't want it to come down to Lee free throws as Peoples makes the first. He is now two of three from the line, has 13 points. We asked Ryan Taplin how he, uh, if you were down to a situation like this where the other team's trying to foul and send your players to the line, who do you want at the line? He said, I'm comfortable with all of them. These are all solid free throw shooters. Peoples does miss the second. Still a 19 point lead for Lee. Ramirez. Gets it back, tries a three. Miss and the rebound by Peoples. Madison pressing again, now to the front court for Nakpodia. Sends it into Duper Twee. Then to Salmon, Peoples, Salmon. Gets around Moreno into the lane, loses balance, but no foul is called. Peoples. 214 remaining. Into a wide open Duper Twee for the layup. Check that, that is Salmon. He has 11. 21 point lead for Lee, biggest of the night. Cooper misses a three. Threes haven't been falling for Madison. And they have needed them tonight. Cooper Twee 
Gets a hug from Ramirez, which will be Ramirez's fourth foul. Lee has two fouls to give, and so far that is that's relevant. Cooper Twee, one for two from the line. Has four points in this game. Elijah Pierre has checked in for Madison. Pierre has 41 three-point attempts in limited action. Cooper Twee does make the second. And the volunteer faithful are sensing it. Ramirez to Pierre. Pierre needs to be guarded by Duper Tweet. Don't know if that'll happen. Aguilar, Ramirez, Aguilar, Ramirez gives to Jaden Frazier, a senior. Now Pierre will try a three. Stand with a rebound. Misses. Gets his own rebound. But then his pass is stolen by Peoples. Lee just used a 30 second timeout to make sure they keep the basketball and this may be to facilitate substitutions as well it is as Isaac Garcia has checked in Solomon will take it to the front court Landon Metz is also in the ballgame for the Volunteers. A couple of graduation presents being given out. Salman. That's Duper Tweed with the ball. He gives to Garcia, listed at 5-4, so they're rooting for a shot where the fans. Salman looks. Gives to Duper Tweed. Back to Salman, 33 left. Jaden Frazier guarding Salman. Lee is content to run this one out and make arrangements for next Tuesday. And Madison will see their fine season come to a close. The Lee Volunteers will make the playoffs. They'll let Isaac Garcia handle the ball at the end. And your final score from Littleton Gymnasium is Lee 58 and Madison 36. The Lee Volunteers are headed to the playoffs. Stay tuned for our post-game show after these messages. We're watching high school basketball presented by John Wayne Service Company on big game coverage. Don't want that old car, but don't know what to do? Call Pick and Pull and turn that old car into cash. We buy more because we pay more, running or not, and we'll pick it up free. Pick and Pull has the largest inventory in South Texas with over 4,500 parts cars, so we need to buy. Go to PickandPullSA.com for more details. Pick and Pull, we buy more because we pay more. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. The Lind Company of San Antonio is about creating an amazing living experience for their residents. An experience that isn't perfectly described with words, but is felt the minute you walk through their doors. They strive to maintain an environment where memories are built and life happens. Their team applies advanced education and real-world experience to provide excellent real estate services in acquisitions, asset management, development, and investment. Learn more at lynd.com. Lind, your home, our passion. For all your business and personal banking needs, Schertz Bank & Trust is your community bank of choice to fit your needs and lifestyle. All the modern conveniences of big national banks, but with friendly personal at Schertz Bank & Trust, not a valued customer that will be treated with respect. Learn the variety of loan and deposit account options online at ShirtsBank.com. Schertz Bank & Trust, strong and stable since 1913. Quality. Here at John Wayne, it's not just a word, 
It's our foundation. From the people we employ, to the service that's provided, to the equipment that we design and install, quality matters. For nearly 20 years, providing quality Texas comfort to the San Antonio area communities has been our highest priority. Buy a new heating and cooling system today, get it installed today, and make no payments today. Plus, for the next 25 callers, I'll take $1,000 off. Call John Wayne today. The Lee Volunteers have advanced to the playoffs here now, 23 and 11 on the year. They are 10 and 7 in district play. 58-36, their win over the Madison Mavericks. Madison's season concludes. They finished 23 and 14 overall and 9 and 8 in district play. Well, Brian Taplin and the Volunteers did not make it easy for us for, to choose our John Wayne player of the game. They had four players score between 10 and 13 points. But we get to choose one, so we're going to go with Ozzy Solomon, senior guard for the Lee Volunteers, who finished with 11 points and seemed to handle the ball for about 30 minutes of the game. So Ozzy Solomon has led the Volunteers to the playoffs. He is our John Wayne player of the game. Well, now we get to turn it around. Scheduled 6.30 tip between Churchill and Johnson. That will decide the final playoff berth in District 28-6A. Lee doesn't know yet whether they're playing Clemens or New Braunfels. They won't know until the Rangers are relayed after this contest. And they're probably not too concerned about that. They're just delighted to be in the postseason for the second time in three years. Congratulations to the Lee Volunteers. Well, we're going to take a break and come right back with Johnson versus Churchill for the final playoff berth in the district. I'd like to thank our crew, Michael Sorrow and Alicia Myers for the directing. Eva Aguilar and Angela Vilas for handling the cameras. Your final score once again from Wilson Gymnasium is Lee 58 and Madison 36. I'm Mark Kusenberger. You're watching Texas Sports Productions. Come right back. 